Hi there, James again here from Glorning. Today I'm going to be talking about that nightmare scenario when you open up your Glorning for the first time in the season and you realise it has mould or mildew on it. So I'm just going to show you the affected areas first. You can see there there's quite a lot of mould and mildew all down this tent. And then if I come around to the other side, you can see there's a bit more of it on there. And it can take different forms. There's also some around here, which is a white powdery type mildew. So all of this we're going to treat and see how it comes out. So what you're going to need for this is some of this interestingly named wet and forget. Uh, you can get that online, Amazon, wherever. Uh, this is a big five litre tub. This will do uh, 30 litres of uh, wet and forget. So you've got plenty there should you need it. You can use it for loads of other stuff as well, patios and garden furniture and all sorts. Um, it says the mix should be five parts water to one part wet and forget. You should roughly stick to that. It's not, you don't need to be too exact about it. Um, you don't want it to be too strong because it will take off the waterproof uh, coating. It'll do that anyway. Um, but you put it in one of these garden weeders is the best thing. Pump it up and then simply spray it on. So just find the affected areas. Give it a good dousing of that. You can see it's going on all, almost like a soapy mixture. Just let that soak in. Now the key to this, the key to getting it to work properly is to leave it. So ideally, well, ideally you want to set it up in your garden and leave it there for probably two weeks plus, depending on how bad the mildew is. You can come back and inspect it regularly to see how it's getting on. Now what we're gonna do is treat this one and then come back to it after a week or so and then after a couple of weeks to see how it's done. If you've not got the luxury of having a garden big enough to put it up in, then you can just put it somewhere draped over something and treat it and let it do its work. Um, but it's more difficult. Really you need the elements, the weather, the rain and stuff to actually wash it off as it's killing it. Okay, so that's that done. We'll come back to that in a week or so and see how we're getting on. Hi, yeah. so it's been six days now since we treated the tent. Uh, it has rained a little bit. I've put a little bit extra on as well. Uh, let's come and have a look and see how it's looking. So this is the panel that was uh, affected the worst. And you can see that there's barely any trace now of any mold on there I've or mildew. Well, so there's no mold on there. We need, we've got a sick donkey here. We need to uh, address as well. We'll just have another quick look at this panel. Again, the worst has come off. Uh, there's still a few slight little specks here, but they'll come off as it weathers and rains. So as you'll see, oh, wet and forget is the way to, to get rid of it. What we do need to do now is give it a treatment with um, waterproofer and Fabsil. Again, we can use that garden weeder to do that, or we can just get big tins of Fabsil and spray it. If you've got a big area to do, best to use the garden weeder. Thank you.